following program is produced by Project Bait and does not reflect the views of this station. Well, my people are speaking with Gwen Thomas, and she is the CEO of Fresh Perspectives. It's an organization that seeks to provide information to our community. She joins us today to talk about something which is invaluable for those of you who have college-age children. She's talking about why you need to get money and how you can get money to send your child to school. Gwen, welcome to For My People. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're trying to do with this program? Thank you for having me. Uh, as we approach the 2010 year, it's time, it's January, and if those uh, parents out there have college-bound students, at this particular time they should be filling out their FAFSA uh, form, which is a federal fund to help uh, secure scholarship information and other financial aid and even students or parents who think that they have enough money to send their kid to, to their child to college that uh, it needs to be filled out so the uh, uh, colleges can assess what kind of dollars are available for the students. Can you go back and tell us what that acronym means and where they can find it? Well, uh, it's, uh, no, I can't tell you exactly right off the bat, <laughs> but it's called FAFSA. If you put F-A-F-S-A uh, .gov into the computer, it'll come up in Google. And it's uh, required for all colleges. Uh, there are a lot of parents, there's a misnomer that think that they don't need to fill it out. All they need to do is uh, forward a check. And that's not the situation. Uh, you know, it's suggested that all college, all students, college-bound students, fill that out in January. And in January is the best time to fill it out because if you wait too far uh, in the year, the dollars are not available. So the, it's 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 uh, the early bird catches the worm, if you will. Does it only apply to institutions where they specifically are liberal arts or scientifically a uh, focus, or does it just relate to? Uh, only four-year institutions or can community colleges be involved? In other words, how wide is the array of the schools to which you can apply? It's required at all two-year and four-year institutions, grad schools and any students and PhDs. It is a required document to be completed for college. Um, you know, there's dollars available and uh, that's basically how we got started. I had a college-bound student and uh, we started kind of early and I had to come up with a strategy. You know, I knew college was uh, on the rise, the cost of education was on the rise, and I knew that I wanted to have my son, uh, you know, get through college and have a fine education. And parents, it's not too early for them to begin thinking about how are they going to help their college-bound student get through college. I mean, sometimes people don't prepare. It happens. But we started when my son was as early as 14 years old and we put together a strategy and uh, I think I did pretty good. Um, I started with the strategy. We basically, uh, you know, had saved some money, but because of this economy, you know, who knew that it was going to be this tough? So the dollars that I put aside wasn't as strong as, as, as was required. And when I started getting closer and, the, and it was increasing, I got a little afraid and the strategy was effective. Well, Gwen, one of the things that impressed me about what you're doing is that you're trying to dig deep, especially into the community, into the black community, and say, single parents, whomever, you can do this. So in other words, you're not taking the victim mentality. You say you can do something about it. You know, I decided, uh, it hit me several months ago that, you know, I did a pretty good job with my son. Uh, we were uh, successful in raising $250,000 for his education. And uh, I needed to tell the story. I needed to tell people, well, if my strategy worked, there may be some single mothers like myself that are out there who are scratching their head and saying, what am I going to do? There's some parents who uh, somebody has lost their job and the, the, the mother or the father and they have you know, several kids, not just one, and they've got to come up with a, with a strategy. And so I decided to get out in the community. I called a few friends of mine at co in corporate uh, places and I said, listen, I've got an idea. It's hit me. God has blessed me that my son was favored to be able to get through school with some scholarships. I mean, they didn't just come. It was hard work. And I said, you know, if I can get out and help a few parents, you know, and tell the story and give them the plan, then we've done a great job. So.
How can they reach you, Gwen, in, in terms of these seminars? And I assume that when you do them, you bring a whole lot of stuff that they can get their hands on. It's very valuable information. Um, I have two websites. Uh, one is called Fresh Perspective Seminars. Dot com and the other one is dollarsforcollege.info and I can be reached at any of those uh, email addresses and websites and uh, we, we're planning on having another, another seminar um, probably before the end of Black History Month um, right now waiting to hear from some corporate sponsors so if there's some out there who can help you know this community needs it. In the last 30 seconds here um, specifically and talking about more black men in prisons than in school. Um, will this help them? Oh yeah. We've got to make a difference. If, if people like me, we've got to make a difference. I mean, we have some very talented young people. They just need direction. And it's up to us. It's up to us to take on a village uh, renewal agenda type attitude and say, you know what, I've got a little time. I'm going to sit down and help some young people get through school. I'm going to sit down and help them, uh, you know, uh, read, if you will, and, 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 and increase their skill set. So that's what I'm here. I'm celebrating my 21st anniversary in business. It's now time for me to do some community service, and uh, it's the next generation. So that's my, uh, that's my effort to uh, help our community. Well, maybe a number of other people can draw from your experience and say, hey, I'm not just out here to just make it for myself. i got to help, as you say, the village. We've been talking to Gwen Thomas, and she is the owner and also the founder of the Fresh Perspective, specifically in terms of finding money for your children to go to school, but more so than that, giving them a future and giving our community a future. We thank her for joining us on this edition of For My People. If you'd like to find out more about this interview or any other you've seen today, reach us on our website at projectbait.blackgold.net. It's projectbait.blackgold.net, and we thank you and uh, hope to hear from you soon. I'm Geraldine Watkins, the director of the Constantine Little Rock Family Life Center, located at 8904 Woodward Avenue at the corner of Holbrook in Detroit. We offer swimming, basketball, as well as a full fitness center. We also have a beautiful hall available for rental of all occasions. For more information regarding programming and services, please contact us at 313-871. 4673. Again, 313-871-4673. If you are in business, you should promote your business in the Metro Business Information Guide. For more information, contact Chris Woodard at 645-2282. That's 313-645-2282. Customer receipts, payroll, inventory, mailing label, tax reports. I've got computers, but my business still isn't organized. What can I do? You need the office assistant billing and bookkeeping software. Bring your business into the 21st century. Call Electronic Services, 313-341-1821. That's 313-341-1821. The preceding program was produced by Project Bait and does not reflect the views of this station.